Hi everybody, how's it going? Johnny D here over at uh, Zim's Guitars here in Mesa, Arizona. In early June of 2021, uh, I was privileged enough to be able to go to Los Angeles and meet with Brian Ray, who uh, is Paul McCartney's guitar player whenever he plays in the studio or in live music since 2002. Brian has been his right hand man. So Ryan and I met in LA for about an hour and uh, just the nicest guy you've ever met. And uh, he had this guitar featured um, on a, um, a Gibson video that he did with Mark Agnesi talking a little bit about uh, his uh, guitar collection. And this guitar was actually featured in that collection. For whatever the reason, again, just hitting it off with Brian, talking shop with him over the course of several months, he agreed very graciously to meet me and sell me this guitar in person. Um, of course, I have some pictures of when I met him and everything. But uh, this is basically, it's a 63 Gibson Hummingbird. It was bought new by a young lady um, in the early 60s, right? And it uh, stayed in her room and she used it as a practice instrument. And then in 1967, uh, a lady named Lynn purchased it from that young lady and she had it uh, for decades thereafter until Brian was able to meet her. But she was a, a fan of, of Brian's and saw him in concert and Brian's known for playing a dove. And she was saying, well, I have a, I, I know you play a 63 dove, I've got a 63 hummingbird. So sure enough, they got together and she showed this to him and, and he was able to acquire it from her. And what makes this dove really crazy and, and rare is that um, as you can see, on the back and the sides, it is made of maple. Most of the time, these are made of mahogany on the back and sides, which I believe either a spruce or a maple top. Um, but uh, w when you really look here at the, and we're going to have some other pictures and shots of it, but the pit guard is perfect. It's like it was never, never worn or anything by anybody that was strumming chords. But it's just, it's just fantastic um, in every way. I mean, the neck is a little bit thin. But it's all original. These uh, exclusion uh, tuners are known to break. These are still intact. They're the original ones on here. And it's really like a time capsule. Um, it, it really doesn't have any play wear. It's, it's just, it's as mint as mint can be for a guitar this old. And uh, honestly, it should almost be in a book or a museum. Hey guys, how's it going? My buddy Nathan is here in the shop today. He's gonna play my 1963 Gibson Hummingbird uh, that belonged to Brian Gray. Oh, be careful with it. Hey, so yeah, the 63 Hummingbird, sounds great. Uh, the neck on it is nice and slim, but it's not like uh, too like too slim and it still has like the wider nut because it's 63, so um, it still has the one in, what is it, 11 sixteenths nut width or something like that. And uh, you know, it fits nicely in your hand. It's like a nice, like kind of like a C. Uh, slim, but not too slim. I don't know if it's because of the, the maple back and sides, but it has like a lot of low end to it. Like very bass, bass heavy, you know? Pick art's crazy. Yeah, it's uh, it's original. It's again seen nowhere. There's no fret wear, nothing. It's just about as it was when it left the factory. Just it has all the age on it. Yeah. <laughs> 
pretty cool. Man. All right, a amazing, amazing guitar. It's actually tuned a half step down right now. Have you changed the strings? I have not, no. Are you going to change the strings? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not anytime soon. And now I, I know, Johnny, you flip guitars sometimes. as a hobby sometimes, sometimes, but this thing's a keeper, right? A ke I, yeah, it's, it's too cool. It's, I can't. Sell that. At least ten years. You got to hang it on to it for at least ten years. I would think so. I, at I, least a decade. I can't. I can't sell that. Yeah. Very beautiful. Belonged to Brian Ray, Paul McCartney's guitar player for probably twenty-five years 20, now. About twenty. Yeah. yeah. Um. Any idea of if McCartney ever had this in his hands? I, Did not he ever pick Brian it up? Me. No. <laughs> hey, I got an idea for a song, yeah. Brian. Let's do this. Yeah. No, I, I don't think so. No, but super cool. It never left the house, and it's not. It's not going to leave my house. It, it, I had to bring it here, though, man. Johnny, thank you for bringing yeah. it in and showing it off to us. Absolutely. 1963 Gibson Hummingbird. Maple sides in the back. Maple. Fish. Featured on the collection Gibson series with Mark Agnesi. Yeah, and Brian watch Ray that video. Absolutely, yeah. It's, uh, it's bottom just... side has so much flame on it, dude. Yeah. Look at the side on the treble right there. Yeah. Amazing. Looks like tiger stripes, dude. Yeah. Really, nine of ten condition, I would call it. I I would. I mean, it, there's a couple little scratches, little tiny, tiny thing tiny, right here, tiny but stuff. Man, but for 1963. It's, it's like a time capsule. It I mean, really is. It, it really, yeah. Thank you guys for uh, hanging out and watching with us. Talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.